Screen Monkey version 3.6 is the latest addition to the multimedia control software. Uh, over the next few minutes, we'll take you through some of the new features. If you're familiar with previous versions of Screen Monkey, one of the first things you might notice are the changes to the way pages are navigated on the dashboard. Gone are the up and down arrows, and uh, that's been changed for plus and minus, as well as page bookmarks and quick page select. So if you want to um, change page as before, you can click plus and minus just to toggle through the pages. But also, you can select a page to jump to. Uh, it shows the, uh, the next four and the previous four pages. Um, and you can quickly select these pages and jump to them. As before, if you click on the current page number, it allows you to type in a page number and jump to that. Bookmarks are a handy way of um, naming a page which you can jump to at a later date. So you might say name your pages images um, so that you can quickly find all your images. To name a page just select the page you want. So we've just selected page 4. Uh, select bookmark page and type in uh, images here. And that will bookmark the page. So when I jump to page 1 now I can select jump the drop down list and go directly to images. And then on page 5 we might um, bookmark that uh, video. And page 6 might be our songs. Now I can quickly select a page that I want. Clip effects is a handy way to adjust the um, properties of a clip as it outputs to the screen. Um, so to add an effect we just right click on the clip and select effects. This will open the clip effects um, selection dialog. And we can click on add to add an effect. Now version 3.6 comes with two um, inbuilt effects, brightness and contrast and color correction. So um, I'm just going to select color correction and add some green into this effect. Um, you've got um, two options. You can either subtract color or add color. Um, so by adding green and subtracting red and blue, um, we should just get a clip with only green in. And if I run that, you'll see it's only green. Um, so this is another clip that I've added. Um, I've removed everything but red and you can see the effect that has. And this is another clip with the bright brightness and contrast changed. Macros are a great new addition to Screen Monkey which are available in the Pro version. Uh, what they allow you to do is control different devices, say um, a video matrix or um, your projector screen or just simply turn on your projector. Uh, the different um, macros that are available um, can be selected by clicking on an empty um, clip slot, going choose macro, and this gives us um, a selection of macros. Uh, interactions basically are controls within Screen Monkey, so you might want to put, um, for example, assign a Go key to um, this button and then whenever you select that it will perform a go action screen monkey. Uh, RS2C2 is to control RS2C2 devices. Um, your projectors might have RS2C2 control to turn the power on. Shell execute allows you to do Windows commands. You might want to um, for example add one that um, uh, shuts down the computer but be careful. And TCP again is um, devices that are controlled via TCP. So this gives you um, a huge amount of potential to include uh, external devices within your show. Uh, they can be controlled um, via link, so you can link uh, macro with other clips. 
um, or you can even schedule them. Um, so you might want to schedule your computer to shut down at a certain time. Pair clip join two clips together. So if you play one clip, the other clip will play. This can be um, particularly useful when you want to link audio tracks to um, video tracks. So for example here I've got um, this uh, image and I want to play this audio track whenever I play this image. So you right click on the clip and go link and down here you can select pair um, and we can also select which clip we want to play it with from here and I'm just going to select the audio track which it's already paired to. So now um, whenever I play this clip, as long as the other clip is um, on a different layer, um, the audio track will also play. And as you can see they're both playing there now. Also um, under link um, we, we have this next and random option. Um, if you select next clip, it will link to the clip adjacent to it, uh, independent of whether I change that clip. So if I move these clips around, it will now link to this clip. And random basically will select a random clip from within the dashboard. Uh, this may not be so useful in the dashboard, but when you add a space, um, it becomes even um, extremely useful because the uh, random option will randomly link to any clip within that space. The display profile and layer um, dashboard have been split up into two separate windows. Uh, this is to give you the option to move them about separately from one another. So I can um, have them on top of one another or I can just simply have the layers dashboard window open and nothing else. Uh, we, you'll also notice that a few more buttons have been added. Um, we've got a global go which performs a go on all layers. We've got clear all layers, um, fade out all layers and fade in all layers. In the um, layers dashboard um, we've added the ability to edit the display profiles um, and also change the transition speed using um, the quick select buttons. Mm -hmm.